A trap door, huh? Oh, the okay, 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 okay. Actual spring level. So the good news is like actual trap doors are pretty easy. So we do something weird like this. It's gonna be an actual trap door where this guy pushes this road, so it will fall down behind it. Um, let's let me see if this stands normally. Oh, it actually does. So there's gonna be a few things we're gonna have to change up here. So first, we don't know how this is gonna land. Second, we also need a maximum distance. Like, we need somewhere for this to catch. This is really sloppy, I'll clean this up later. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Alright! There's kind of the design. Oh, that actually even works. So, it definitely falls correctly, but now... I need to do this. Because I want this guy to trigger it. Like that, actually. Is it gonna get up here? It is. Yeah, there we go. That's the design. It's just a little bit over budget now. It did not that take that long to master. So let's let's take this time and try to clean up the rest of the bridge because this is pretty damn pricey. Not no brakes. That's not my concern. All right, let's do one thing at a time instead of doing a billion changes and wondering what 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 went wrong. Okay, so this part works. Not bad. We still got things to do. Let's try this one. Maybe this is part of it. No, this still works. I could probably move the sides of this muscle more in. Seems harder than Polybridge 1. Yeah, it definitely ramps up in difficulty. This surprised me. It came out of nowhere. Everything before this was pretty manageable. And then we get this. Let's try a wood muscle here. This is so sloppy. Challenge levels are tough. Yeah, that'll be interesting to get to. 26,000. Can I maybe have this one just be a rope and not a cable? Do I prefer this game over the first? Both I, both are like very comparable. Okay, this was actually cleaner doing rope. This is just more of the formula that I like. And what's nice about this game is it's just going to probably be a regularly updated polybridge. It's going to be polybridge but with better repeatable content. Which is just an excuse for me to play this game indefinitely. If you like the first game, you'll love this one. And if you love this one, you'll like the first game. I, they're, they stuck to their guns and they did it well. We have plenty of feature improvements that we would like to do planned that we didn't have time to do before release. A fifth world is likely because I see you guys not struggling enough. No ETA on that, however. Nice. Actual 2000 to go now. All right, this is about as clean as we're going to get this uh, first bridge down. So now we got to shave money here. Wood instead of rope. I don't hate it. I don't love it either, though. Oh, it could work. <laughs> I guess that's one way to save money. A little bit of money, anyways. What is this monstrosity? It's called art, actually. This bridge is complete art. You know, actually, a spring here may not be terrible. Look. What? Okay, how about this, then? Oh! Wait! The spring is not dead. The spring is just the cheaper steel. We're getting this done for sure then. Maybe. Ooh, $500 to go due to the power of springs. You know, I really do think we can just make this shorter. Yeah, this is this is pretty nice actually. It, it accepts the new car a lot better. Ooh, maybe I'll switch to normal roads. It's time for it, yeah. Maybe we were prepared to do normal roads. And we've done it! Hold on, let's try to shave off a little bit more, but we got her. Can we can we do this too? For good measure? J just so I can celebrate? The springs actually got us the win! I, I was writing them off. I thought the spring strat was dead, but glorious spring led us to a victory. Alright, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I'll have to come back to this. I bet I could do a no break with springs with this eventually. But that will be for another day. On to the next one. A triple decker drawbridge, huh? Okay, so it's it's relatively simple, but it's not easy. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard ass drawbridge. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a disconnect here. I think I'm just gonna have them be three separate ones. I'm gonna do something like this for each one. Oh, and it'll work out just nicely. Cause then we're gonna have a little hydraulic kind of pulling down each of these. 
The bottom one might be rough though, not gonna lie. The bottom one's probably gonna suck. So actually, I think I will do some lowering here. So I wanna change this to X's like so for a bit of extra strength. All right, we're gonna hope for the best here. What, what happened? The top one nailed it. The bottom one's not so much. All right, so maybe reinforced roads on these two. And then we're gonna take it slow so we can watch this more carefully. Oh! Well, the mechanic works. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Is it gonna fit? <laughs> no way. I don't know if it's gonna hold the cars, but this is a sick start. Um, it's probably not gonna hold them, though. I think we're actually gonna need to take some of the stuff off the top. Yeah, yeah, because that shit's heavy, dude. What I think I can do is something like this. Um, and then some of- especially this. And then we can do this. And then we can do some of these over here. So now we have money to work with if it, this goes wrong. And I can reinforce stuff a lot better. So round two, let's see what breaks. These vertical woods are going undergoing a lot of stress, which is kind of good. That's what they're meant to do. But it could be done better. Alright, so roads breaking. I noticed all the second ones, second roads, could use a little extra help. Maybe I'll do the third ones for good measure then too. And I think I'll go ahead and make this these steel. How about now? This is still undergoing a lot of stress, so maybe I should add some steel to there. Yeah, I think steel in this area would be kind of nice. This is more expensive though. Maybe we don't actually need a hydraulic on top. I could just do an arch. I don't know if that'd be cheaper. If that's cheaper, I think I'd roll with it. But yeah, more bottom sports here. Let's see if it makes a difference. This is actually a little sketch, not gonna lie. But it is cheaper, I will give it that. Let's, now that we have some money saved, maybe we can do something else. Oh, there's a brace behind the bus. Um, okay, let's see if I can use that to my advantage. Uh, a little over budget if it- Again, I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna run the over budget one. Oh, it's the top, actually, that screws it over. Maybe if I actually return this to its original design, which is the hydraulic, it could work now. Can I do this? I mean, technically. It's a lot lighter and cheaper on the top. Oh my god, this was so close! We almost made it! I, I'm shocked this broke, but... We can fix that pretty easily. Oh, this is what broke. Maybe if I just fix this, it'll be fine. It's a little over budget, which I can deal with later. I could probably just lower this over there. Hey, there we go. Work and design. Just need to shave 400 bucks. Let's get this down to about barely under budget. It's clean! It doesn't break, it's just solid. A little bit of weird adjustments, but it did all work out. Everything just kind of came together to get a nice working bridge. Pretty happy about that. Barely under budget, but we'll have to return to this one day. This is not a type of bridge I'm good at, but what can you do? Nothing, it wasn't as janky as the previous one, which is what I'll take. Like, oh. Safety gap, huh? Oh, is it one of those not enough roads bridges? Motherfucker. I kind of know what it wants me to do, and I don't think I can do a jump. Okay, what's the total distance from here to here before I... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and a road does 2, so we're missing 6 meters. I guess there's gonna be 10 gaps over 6 meters, so each gap is gonna be 3 fifths of a meter. About that. So then what I want to do is just copy paste this. Perfect. Exact amount of roads with the perfect wood spacing. So what, what we need to do is now produce a bridge that can support this guy. I think we actually use springs here. I, I don't even think this is going to support itself. But fuck it! Let's run it! You know, it's technically still attached. It's technically still attached. It's just kind of under the water. We do not have a submarine. We have a car. Alright, what if, what, if, what if these are just all steel? Well, this worked a little bit too well. I don't think the springs were the move here. This was a little bit too clean. All right, we can shave an easy $200. Just simplified with steel. Look at that. It's not even close to breaking. 83.7%. We're just loving it. 
$14,000 to get this seven polygram dude across. Now we're talking budget. We got to shave some money here. We've been shaving money all day. This is going to be interesting. So I think what we need to do is something kind of like this. Do a little double arch kind of thing. A little McDonald's bridge. This is over budget. That's insane. This is so minimal. Does it work though? Oh, it actually works really well. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad to shave if we have this low of a stress. It's 64%. We totally can do better. It looks nice too, right? So I think all we really need to do is just do a shallower arch here. Something more like this. It's maybe sketched though now. This, this arch is not tall. Oh god! Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the stuff I'm good at. I can cheap out on a bridge, and honestly, I bet the middle could be a little bit better. But I don't really have anything to compare myself to, so we're gonna keep pushing forward. Thread the needle, it's called. Oh, we have a tiny gap to cut. Now, this is an entirely new level design. I don't think we've seen anything like this in Polybridge 1. So between the mountain and the balloon, this looks fun. So it's just a very clean jump that we also have to have a landing for. Okay, well, we can use the springs for the landing. This is maybe okay. Well, it really comes down to the precision. We're gonna have to adjust this a lot. And for starters, we are way too high. So that means we gotta lower this. Oh, the jump is, oh my God. We have to be so precise. I mean, we hit the gap, but we, we can't, wow. This is gonna be weird. Wait, we have one road. Can't I just like create a backboard? Oh, the backboard's too short even. All right, let's lower this a bit maybe so it doesn't gain that much speed. Ooh, oh, come on. We almost banked it. All right, one, I think we can actually get rid of this backboard now if this works. We can do this and then do this. And let's also compress this and compress and then leave it. Okay, this isn't gonna compress as much as it's gonna be neutral. All right, lots of springs here. Oh, there we go, a beautiful landing that was. I think we didn't even use all of our oats. Well, this was sick, let's keep moving. The tipping tower. Four roads and no side joints. How far does four roads even get me? About this far. What? So it's gotta like fall over, but how fast is this? Maybe it's fast? It's really slow and it's really heavy. I'm not sure why we have specifically four roads. I'm gonna be honest, their design desires for me are definitely confusing. I, I cannot read their minds, but um, we're gonna try something like this. That, and it looks like it's gonna fall to left, and that's because it is. However, we're gonna use a spring like this. We're gonna do a spring wall brace. Cause it actually somehow works. Let's try sending it a bit more. So what I actually want it to do is once it reaches a certain point, I want it to just kind of fall the other way. I don't know how well this design's gonna actually work, but I'm, I'm trying it out to its fullest. Yeah, it's a spring brace. It's actually gonna hopefully bounce. <gasps> oh, wait, it almost works! It's so close, actually. That actually worked almost according to plan. Let's ramp this up a bit. Literally what I was trying to do right there. Oh, come on, get there, get there. Oh, he got there. Can it do it? Oh. <gasps> Come on, come on. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Can we get like another spring brace? Another spring brace, maybe to try to keep this alive? <gasps> oh, we had a break, but it worked! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, can we get this to not break? This was sick! This was so cool! This is, this is one of my favorite designs so far. I'm gonna actually slow this down so I can see uh, if I can prevent any other breaks. Oh, I see why that breaks though, because that hits. 
What if I push this out and then this out? So the spring is the only thing to hit. And maybe I'll add back a second spring if this doesn't get the job done. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that is so cool. This game is amazing. Yeah, it even kind of goes back. It's reusable. This is a multi-use bridge. This is like more than what you can ask for. Uh, well, I am 100% gonna go for record on that because that is such a cool design.